Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna break down the Demon Slayer movie Mugen Train. The story begins with Kagaya Obushiki head to Demon Slayer Cop, visit a graveyard where the disgraced Demon Slayer warrior are buried with the help of his wife Amane. Limiting about those who gave their life in the continuous war against Demon King Mozan Kibutsuchi and his army, he declares that the human spirits will always rise to the challenge. Tanjiro Kamado, his domestic young sister Nozuko and his friend Zenitsu and Inosuke board the Mugen train to assist the flame Hashira Rengoku in his mission to hunt for a demon that caused 40 people to go missing. Soon after boarding, they are attacked by two demons which Rengoku quickly kills directly after all of them except the Nozuko fall into deep sleep. The work of Inamu, lore of the twelve Kazuki. Imanu instructs four passengers, all suffering from severe insomnia, to enter the Demon Slayer dream and directly their spiritual core to cripple them. In exchange, Inamu will grant them a peaceful sleep. During their sleep, Demon Slayer have idealistic dreams. Tanjiro reunit with his descendant family. Rengoku remains on his past with his young brother Senjiro and their alcoholic father Zenetsu in Sovens alive with Nozoko and Inosuke imagine himself as a leader. All of the passengers fail to destroy their spiritual core. Tanjiro thanks to Nizuko outside help realizes that he is dreaming tearfully upon his family and try to wake up successfully after a vision of his father instructed him to kill himself in the dream. At her brother's instruction, Nozuko used her blood demon art to serve the intruder's connection to the others awaking the passengers. At being refused their own dream, they attacked Tanjiro who knocked them all out except for his intruder who had refused Inamu order to harm him dispute his own suffering. While Nozuko awakes the other, Tanjiro comforts Inamu on top of the train and disputes him in the ensuring battle. However, Imanu reveals that he fused himself with the train, preparing to draw all the passengers with him. With everyone now wake up, Rengoku instructs Inosuke and Tanjiro to look for Inamu's neck while he Nizuko and Zenitsu stayed behind to protect the other passengers. Tanjiro and Inosuke find Inamu neck bone in the locomotive but are caught off guard by defense, including a blood demon art which constantly puts them to sleep. The conductor also under the control of Inamu end up stabbing Tanjiro in the jaw. While Inosuke and Tanjiro are able to expose and destroy Inamu neck bone, killing him and declaring the train. As Tanjiro attempts to recover from his wound, Rengoku arrives to help teach him how to stabilize them with their breathing technique. Suddenly, they are attacked by upper three of the twelve Kazuki, Akaza, who tries to pursue Rengoku to turn into demon and become immortal. After sensing he already imbues power, Rengoku refuses, after which he and Akaza consume a fire to the death which Tanjiro and Nosuke unable to assist him. Despite his preference, Rengoku is unable to match Kazuka's regenerative ability and become greatly weakened by several injuries. After Rengoku attempt his most powerful move as the last resort, Akaza managed a fatally injury him by impaling his solar plus. Rengoku with enough strength for the last ditch effort attempts to keep Kazuko restrained long enough to sun to kill him while also trying to serve his head. But Kazuko break free, breaking Rengoku's sword in the proceed and escaped into the forest right before the break of dawn in the despair attempt to stop him and injured Tanjiro threw his sword at Kazuko implanting the demon chest Kazuko escaped nonetheless as Tanjiro break down calling him a coward in the last moment Rengoku tell Tanjiro to visit his family in order to ascertain writing from the previous flame Hashira which may inform his quest to learn more about his Hinokami Kagura technique. He also encouraged Tanjiro and his friend to continue on their path to strength. 
telling them to never give up in the protecting other before scumbling to his injuries and reuniting with his mother in the afterlife while Tanjiro and his friend Inosuke cries at Rengoku death. The remaining Hashira receive the news and Kagaya honors him for not letting a single passenger or comrade die in his presence stating that he will be glad to reunite with him when he finally passes. And there the stories and hope you like it. See you in the next story.